Hey, what's up everyone? Hey, this is your boy Big Red with Big Red's Outdoor Adventures. Hey, uh, tonight I'm gonna type a couple jigs and I figured why not just make a little YouTube video, bring you guys along. Uh, this is the actual jig that I used on Lake of the Pines the other day uh, from my last video of me catching crappie out there um, in the timber at Alley Creek. But um, it did very well for me, so I figured I'm gonna make a couple more jigs up and wanted to show you guys how I tie it. And so, I hope I can uh, teach you something. Hopefully, it's something you might be interested in wanting to learn. Um, I know I'm still I'm still learning. Every time I tie it, um, it's it's getting better every time. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I actually paint the jig head and get it prepared, and then we're gonna bake it, and then we're gonna actually um, start tying it all together. Uh, we'll do we'll show you how to do these, how to actually take them and cut them and prepare them and get them on this hook and hopefully you guys can get started uh, tying yourself and catch some fish off of it but it's pretty cool to actually catch a fish off of your own hook i was told once you do it and then uh, you get a fish on it you're going to be very addicted and i think it's very true so uh we're going to go ahead and get started and so you guys are just going to need your old heat gun this one right here is from harbor freight nothing special about it uh, it's just gonna get the job done so the paint we're going to use tonight is going to be disco silver right there and this is from tj's tackle ordered it online um man they've got every color you can dream of i've got a box full of different colors but tonight we're going to use the disco silver and um like i said we're going to use the freestyle um jigs uh one eighth number two uh bronze mustard j hooks from chris goltry goltry tackle and then uh, we'll have products from crazy angler this is the actual chanel that i'll be using right there uh, i'll have all that information where i got each item from of course um gotta add some bling bling to it so right there that also came from uh goltry tackle he sells that now and so uh hey let's get started let's make our first one I don't do fluid beds yet, maybe soon, later down the road, but this is how I'm just doing it right now. I'm just shaking it, shake it back up, mix it. I'll turn around and uh, just do that right there, cover up that uh, eye of that hook to keep it from getting inside of it, just like that right there. We're gonna turn this on. Get there, heat up for a few seconds. I do about 20 seconds is what I'm doing. And turn around, dip it in the powder, shake it. Like that. Heat it back up. All right. I'll take it. I'm going to put it in the oven. And uh, let's knock out this one, other one real quick. Same process. Also, before uh, I actually painted these jig heads, all I did is they're going to be a little rough from where they come out of the mold. I just took a little file. I filed each one of them down so to clean up the jig a little bit. And so, um, it's something to do. Alright, 
turn that loud sucker on. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this oven on and get it baking. 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Um, that's what pretty much I've watched everybody do. So it's working. Uh, I haven't had much, I haven't had no issues with the paint actually flaking off yet. Uh, so, all right, y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, I've got my uh, temperature set for 350 degrees. So I turn this little knob right here and we're gonna turn it on 10 minutes. You see it start heating it up, it'll start glowing red in there. Um, nothing really to watch there, but like I said, for 10 minutes, they'll do that. It'll bake that jig head. And so we will uh, let it do its baking. After 10 minutes, and I'll bring you guys back up to the jig timetable. All right, guys, uh, just got the uh, jigs. They're fresh right out the oven, a little warm to the touch on there. So, uh, but hey, first what I want to do is I'm gonna take a little bit of super glue and I'm gonna lay a little base right there. And that'll help hold that thread in to keep it from ever wanting to break loose. So truthfully, you should actually lose this jig before any of it ever falls apart. Hopefully, that's the that's the goal. Just take a little bit, rub it on here. It don't take a lot. Um, this right here is your thread, your bobbin, right there. Like I said, I'll have a link to everything where e where I got each item from and what product. This is also a peak rotary device. So it actually spins. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. Sit there, I'll lay a base down. I like to do three layers. So there we go. You'll need you some real small scissors for this stuff. All right, let that cut. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of these for black. And then I'm gonna sit here, go down that air, uh, down this feather. I'm gonna cut it about right there. All right, there's my first one. I'm gonna do me a little black V. Right there. Then, turn around the same thing for a, this is a gray feather. Let's go just a little bit longer. Right there. Then, I like to do, uh, I'm gonna do, say, one V and one actual uh, full tail feather right there. Then, let's say, let's do, let's do two Vs of silver for the bottom. Then I'll knock out a couple of these on top. There we go. All right. And these little feathers will have this little stuff be, when you cut it, be flying all over the air. So get ready for that. And now we're stacking our Vs. So I'll just stack them. Turn around, do that right there. Just start piecing them together. All right, guys. Um, as we go to piece these feathers together, and get them ready. What I did is I did uh, I did three gray V's. I did one black V. Then I actually did one silver 
tail feather and one black tail feather. So we're getting ready to lay our first layer down of these feathers. And you can always, you just want to cut them a little longer because you can always cut them down. So I like mine about right there. So I'm going to cut just a hair, a little hair of this off. All right, so now it's ready to go. So I'm going to mount it right here. You want to lay that first little layer, lay it real gentle. And you want to see where you're at because once you tighten it down, then it's too late. But you want to make sure that this is pretty straight, you know, whatever you're happy with. And I'm going to call that pretty good right there. And so, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a full complete wraps, lock it in. And Put some tension on that jig. Make that sucker wobble, wobble. But, all right. Now, here's our little fancy flash that we got from Gulcher Tackle. I'm gonna lay a couple pieces on here. Turn around. Cut at the very tip of that feather, the end of that last feather. There's that one. to the side, use some more of that on the next jig. All right, got ourselves looking pretty good right there. All right, now we're gonna sit here, we're gonna use this Chanel right there. This is the one from Crazy Angler. This is the New Age Chanel. Uh, take this. Get it started by tying it in there Turn around with the peak rotor device you got your little arm right here to hold your uh, your thread so what I'm gonna do is add just a dab more of the super glue this gorilla glue, this is actually gorilla glue is what we're using dab it a little bit right there Sit there and hold some tension against it. There you go. Wrap it. Another little bit of more super glue or gorilla glue we're gonna add in. Just right there. Not much. Like I said, just enough to lock it in. Alright. I'm not gonna lie, this is not the easiest to do, the whip finish tool. Well, see, it ain't the easiest for me. I'm still learning. And lesson learned, when you're first tying your first set of jigs, make sure when you do that whip finish, and when you go to release it, that doesn't get caught right there. 
I've got several of my first set of jigs where when I went to release, I didn't pay attention and that thread got hooked right there. So I'm gonna knock out another whip on here. Two, three, four, five. All right, there we go, right there. And that right there is set. Now, let's add some eyes to it. Make this sucker real pretty. Sometimes I wonder if we're just pretty enough these jigs for us to catch us versus the fish. Because I sure do like the way they look. Man, they look good. Just line them up, get them somewhat centered. Lock them in. All right. Now, here's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use some Sally Hansen right there hard as nails it's like three bucks four dollars at walmart all this came from walmart and so now we finna paint this jig head and make it shine Sit there and give it a few minutes. Let that booger dry. But guys, there you go, man. That's how you do it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope uh, it, if this helps you, you know, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you liked about it. Tell me if you didn't like it. Uh, I hope you did. But um, I hope you'll be able to do some more videos or some jig time. Hopefully, I'll be a little bit better at promoting it and uh, presenting it for you guys. So, hey, I think this jig turned out pretty well. I hope you guys like it. Hope you uh, get into jig time. Like I said, it's it's pretty exciting. It, uh, it's not cheap getting started, but once you got all, everything you need, uh, it's worth the investment. Like I said, after getting to catch some fish off of it the other day, and I'm hooked. So, anyway. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Big Reds Outdoor Adventures. Hey, I can't wait for the next one. Don't know what it's going to be. Might be some more jig time. Uh, or it could be, let's get on the, uh, on the water and catch some more crappie. So y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you on the next episode.